Would you believe that reptiles are millions of years old? Well, not this particular lizard, but reptiles as a class of animals have been around for millions of years. And they're everywhere, from the hottest deserts to the densest jungles. Reptiles include all sorts of animals like snakes, lizards, turtles, and even crocodiles. So. Grab your explorer's hat because we're about to venture into a world of cold-blooded scales and tails. Want a souvenir of our journey? Check out our fact-filled activity sheets for sale now in the Socratica Foundation store. Find the links below. If it's hard for you to believe that reptiles are one of the oldest kinds of animals on the earth, over 315 million years old, think of it this way. Dinosaurs were reptiles. It's true. During the age of the dinosaurs and pterosaurs, reptiles truly ruled the world. These magnificent creatures dominated land, sea, and air. The dinosaurs went extinct around 65 million years ago, but their legacy lives on through their descendants, the reptiles we share our planet with today. Modern reptiles, including snakes, lizards, turtles, crocodiles, and more, are the great, 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 and many more great grandchildren of the dinosaurs. Neato! Reptiles are cold-blooded animals. When we say reptiles are cold-blooded, we don't mean their blood is actually cold. What we're really saying is their body temperature changes to match their surroundings. This is different from mammals, like us humans, who are warm-blooded. Warm-blooded animals can keep their body temperature steady, even if it's really hot or cold outside. Meanwhile, most reptiles need to find sunny spots to warm up or shady spots to cool down. Reptiles hatch from an egg. These eggs can be laid in nests or even buried underground. However, the reptile world is full of surprises, and a few species break this pattern and give birth to live young. Some scientists believe this happens because eggs are at a high risk of being hunted. Reptiles have an impressive set of senses that help them navigate and find food. Many have excellent eyesight, allowing them to spot prey from very far away. Some reptiles can even sense heat, which allows them to find their prey in complete darkness. Impressive, right? Reptiles don't have ears on the outside of their bodies, like mammals, but that doesn't mean they can't hear exactly. Reptiles can sense vibrations through the ground, which helps them detect the presence of prey or predators. Some reptiles even flick their tongues to taste the air for scent particles. This also helps them track down their next delicious meal. Speaking of food, Reptiles' diets vary widely. They can be carnivores, which means they eat other animals like insects, birds, and mammals. They can also be herbivores, which means they feed on only plants. Or they could be omnivores, which means they eat a mix of both. While we might usually think of reptiles as the hunters, they can also get hunted if they aren't careful. Reptiles have a mix of strategies to protect themselves from predators. Biting is often their main form of defense, with many species having sharp teeth or venom to fight off threats. But their strategies don't stop there. To prevent predators from attacking, some reptiles use hissing or, in the case of the rattlesnakes, shaking their tails to produce a warning sound. Some snakes, like cobras, have something on their necks called a hood. They can spread their hoods, making themselves appear larger and more scary to attackers. Many reptiles also use camouflage to blend into their environment. And some reptiles, like turtles, will retreat inside their shells to hide from danger. Here's a defense strategy you might not have heard of. The basilisk lizard can run on water. Yep. You heard that right. When these lizards need to find safety, they can run at speeds so quickly on water, they don't sink. Clearly, reptiles have many different ways to protect themselves from potential harm. Here's a special reptile ability that seems straight out of a science fiction movie. A third eye, also known as the parietal eye or pineal eye. Found in species like the Tuatara and the Komodo dragon, this eye is used for light sensing and sits on top of their heads, almost hidden from view. Unlike their main eyes, which have more detailed vision, the third eye 
is mainly used to sense changes in light. This helps reptiles keep a steady body temperature and adjust their daily behaviors to the environment. The parietal eye helps sense predators from above and figure out the best time of day to bask in the sunlight. Want to remember the special features of reptiles? Get out your colored pencils and markers and capture different reptiles in our coloring pages. Follow the links below for our activity pages that keep the smart fun going after the video. But we're not finished yet. Here's another reptile fact. Reptiles are known for their dry skin that is covered in scales. Scales help many reptiles to maintain water when living in very dry and hot temperatures. When reptiles grow, many of them actually shed their skin, but this looks a little different depending on the species. Most reptiles shed a few scales at a time, so they're continuously renewing their protective layer over time. Snakes and some other animals shed their entire skin at once in a process known as molting. This remarkable event allows them to remove parasites and outgrown or damaged skin all at once. Want to hear something else impressive about reptiles? They live all over the world, except for the most cold, frigid environments. From lush rainforests and arid deserts to sprawling grasslands and rocky shores, you'll find them almost anywhere. Reptiles also come in a wide range of sizes. Some species are so small they can easily fit in the palm of your hand, while others are so big they can get as long as three humans. Any guess who the biggest reptile is? That would be a saltwater crocodile. Be sure to check out our video about the largest animals on Earth. When we think of reptiles, we often picture them in pairs, making comparisons between similar yet different species. Take turtles and tortoises, for example. While both are reptiles and have a hard shell, turtles are mostly aquatic, gliding through the water with ease, while tortoises live on land and have sturdy legs for walking. Two more reptiles we often think of together are alligators and crocodiles. But once again, these reptiles actually have different habitats, behaviors, and physical characteristics. Interestingly, about a third of all reptile species on Earth are snakes. Snakes are a very unique animal because they don't have any limbs. But if you look at their skeleton, they have little bumps and ridges where the limbs used to be. They gradually lost them over time, leading to the snakes we see today. Snakes also vary greatly in how they catch and eat their prey. Some snakes are venomous, using their deadly bite to weaken or kill their prey before eating it. Others are non-venomous and rely on different strategies like constriction, where they wrap around their prey and squeeze tightly until it can no longer breathe. There's so much to learn about snakes. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming video about snakes. We have officially ventured through 315 million years of reptilian history. From the slithering snake to the speedy basilisk lizard, all reptiles contribute something valuable to our ecosystem. So, the next time you encounter a reptile, whether it's in a zoo, a nature documentary, or in the wild, from a safe distance, take a moment to appreciate these survivors of the ancient world. Now it's time to watch another great video from Socratica Kids. You get to pick. And don't forget to check out our coloring pages and activity sheets made just for you, linked below. Did you know that these videos are made possible by our donors? The Socratica Foundation is committed to making free educational resources for kids. Donate today.